What's up, my baseball and softball sluggers? I know everybody's been waiting on it, but we're about to do the unboxing of the JMH 2911 Swing Trainer. That's easy. First leg, second leg, third leg. There's two different holes in the legs. The larger hole is for the orange screws. The smaller hole is for lag bolts in case someone wants to lag it into concrete to secure it down, super secure it down. The, the more secure the base is, the better off the apparatus works. So it has to be secure. It's all about being tight and secure. First one you want to put on is probably the front. The feet are always facing out, outwards. Front, next, that one. Lean it towards you. This one, third one, feet are out. That can go right there. Once you have it that far, reach over and grab your bag of fasteners. Dump those out someplace where you got them. Three long screws. These are two inch screws. These are for your legs. And then you'll have four shorter screws with washers. That is for the horizontal arm. The large washer and the large nut are for the threaded rod to go into the bottom of the upright and then there is your uh, stud bearing that goes into the end of the horizontal arm in which your ball assembly will screw into there later on so now what we're going to do is we need to put the bolts into the leg there's a lock nut washer there's a regular washer. The flat washer goes on one end with the, with the uh, bolt. The lock nut washer goes on the side with the nut on it. Insert there. Once that's through, lock nut washer. And then the nut. Once you get it just on there, hand tighten it, and then go to the next one. Again, flat washer and bolt stay together. That goes on there. And just repeat with the last leg. Once you have all the, the bolt and the holes lined up, Okay, lock nut washer, nut, hand tighten. Now that we have all three, we want to go to our wrenches over here on the side. You're going to need both half inch wrenches. Grab both half inch wrenches, ones to hold. The other one's to tighten. Right, tighten, left, left. To the right. To the right, to the right. Tighten that up. Tighten that one up. Make it either very tight. Tighten it down. 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 Make sure you don't lean over too, too far when you pull this out. This upright's probably about 25 pounds at least. So um, turn it up on its side like that. Reach in here, grab your threaded rod. Reach in here, grab your wedge. Thread the rod. 
into the rip into the wedge until you start to see it at the come flush grab the wedge drop it down into the channel it'll till it goes in that hole down at the bottom and then you see it poke out at the bottom there it is then you take your giant flat washer and your half inch or three quarter inch nut washer goes on first and then your nut once it once you get it to the washer don't tighten it up any longer because if you start to tighten it up that'll pull your wedge in and you don't want to pull the wedge in just yet because the wedge when the wedge gets pulled in it sends these tabs out and that's what tightens it up in the base and also in the hitch okay once you have that grab the upright head over to your base and remember you always insert from the one leg side Slip away and then leave that there come back to your uh, your open adjustable wrench grab your open adjustable wrench open it up to where it fits the nut here so continue to wiggle it a little bit as you tighten it and you'll see it starting to take that slop out of there It's starting to take all that slop out. This is something else that you want really tight. No. You don't want that thing to wiggle at all. Tight, tight. Bam! Just grab your horizontal arm and your bracket assembly, the back of your bracket and all four of your bolts and nuts. Bracket goes on the back. Put it on there. Take, woo, that metal's hot right there. It's supposed to be 106 today. Get it on there to get it started. I'm ready to support the horizontal arm, Trevor. Arm. Bolt to the front. Black washer. Bolt. Yeah, two people, it's much easier, but if you're by yourself, it's still okay. Get that started there, and it holds. On your third. Bolt through. Front. Black washer. Nut. Tighten. Final and fourth bolt. For the horizontal arm assembly to the bracket. And tighten. Now you also want to make sure when you put it on here, depending on how. Uh, how high um, or how tall your athlete is on where you need where you need this adjusted in order to where the ball is going to hang for you to get a good down the middle pitch at the right level right down the middle right about waist high belt high fastballs down the middle okay walking back over here grab one of your wrenches for right now walk back over here take your Ball stud. Start to fasten that in there. There you go. Once you get it started, and you can put your half inch wrench on it. Right around we go. Right around we go. Okay, then you want to come back over here, grab your ball assembly, come back to, and it's opposite here, it's to the left to tighten it. Make sure you get it 
sure that's the right height if you want it. Boom, right about belt high. For me, that's right. If it's a little kid, you might want to adjust this a little bit lower. So eventually you'll, you'll realize where along the, uh, the beast hack uh, letters, you'll eventually want your, your pitches or it's set up for your pitches on a height. All right, grab your adjustable wrench, adjust it to fit the fat, flat part of the ball stud, half inch wrench. Make sure to keep this eyeball centered right there. Half inch wrench there. Half inch wrench is going outward to the right. Left wrench is going outward to the left and keep that centered as best you can and just tighten it up. It doesn't have to be smoking tight. Just tight enough, it's just tight. What you, want, what you did not want to do to keep from avoiding from damaging that bearing is only using your half wrench and tightening it up like that and putting pressure. That will damage that bearing and it will be no good. Okay, so very important. Half inch uh, adjustable wrench, half inch wrench. Keep the eyeball very good, steady, centered, looking at you, tighten down. Good to go. All right. There we go. All right, now grab both half inch wrenches. And what they allow you to do, you need to ask permission for sure if you're at a field. It has very nice fields. The larger ground stakes go into the larger holes and you can start those just by turning them with the top of your hand. Depending on how hard the ground is, as long as you can turn it with your hand, keep doing it. Once it starts to get a little tough, back up off of that because this plastic sleeve that comes with the orange screw uh, kit comes off. And this actually inserts into here so that way you can finish tightening so as you get lower with the screw you're gonna to have to start to adjust the casing on it so that way you can continue to tighten it up and I'm gonna show you so see I'm, I'm going I'm going I'm going it's starting to hit now you got to slide it in every time you come around okay always keep your hands toward the middle toward the center if you get too wide out as it starts to get tougher to screw into the ground you, you might break that case, so stay toward the center, push it in, 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 stay toward the center, okay? Get down as far as you can go and then pull it out, okay? Moving on to the next one. Okay, now that unit is solid and ready for hacking. Ready for some beast hacks. I can roll. You can remove the plastic off your ball. Now we are good to go. Now it's playtime. 